we are going to make it to the internet. All right, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and click on YouTube. And his name is John C. Welcome to the channel. My name is Andrew. You are watching Red Blue Labs. In today's video, we are going to be doing something pretty exciting, okay? In my home lab environment, we are going to be managing outbound traffic. We are going to be setting up a machine that is going to route through its network, go through another network, get to another router, and then go to the internet via outbound traffic. So on your screen, I'm going to draw the network that we're doing here. We have a PFSense machine, and inside of that, we are going to have two interfaces. We have our, our WAN interface, and we're going to have our LAN interface. Attached to the LAN, we're going to have an Ubuntu machine. Now, we want all the machines that are inside this network to go through the LAN interface, through the WAN, over to another PFSense machine, and then be able to route over to the internet. And that's the picture for the internet. Okay. Clarity's sake, we also have a machine attached to the LAN side of this network, and that's our Kali machine. Let's put on some let's put some numbers down here so it's a little bit clearer. The network that we're playing with inside of this, remember we've got our Ubuntu machine, we've got PFSense, we've got another PFSense, and we've got our Kali machine. We are going to be playing with a network over here, 192.168.2.0 slash 24. That's this network over here. And this network, which is a host only, by the way, is going to be 192.168. Whoa! 83.0 slash 24. And we also have a network of 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Now, there's an important element that has to happen in order for machines in this network to actually get through this host only and then play around in this network and play around going to the internet. You have to have that set up first before we can do any effective outbound traffic on our PFSense here. We have to set up routing and gateways. There's a video that's dropping down right now. You can see it. That video explains the entire process of setting up routing between between routers, specifically in PFSense. You're going to need that video and have it set up properly if you're going to have this machine able to go to this router, over to this router, and then to the internet, and then back down. We are going to log into our PFSense machine. We're going to go through each PFSense machine to show that traffic, how it got to the internet. We're going to put in the gateway that your PFSense LAN has, and you're gonna go ahead and log in. So inside of a router, we have to have something called NAT, Network Address Translation. That's how we're going to manage traffic that is leaving and handling the traffic that's coming back in. So when we're doing port forwarding, we're gonna to look to that area in PFSense as well. We're not doing port forwarding, but we are gonna to go to the same area to manage outbound traffic. Right now, we are looking at this PFSense machine right here. Head on down from Firewall to NAT. Click on that. And the section that we're going to be playing around in is literally called Outbound. And over here, let's click on Outbound. And then on the, in this case, for this PFSense, we're not really worrying about anything because we have a specific relationship set up. In this case, we want traffic to go... Uh, once it comes from the LAN, goes to the WAN, it's going to get immediately routed to two areas, whether it's going to go to the internet or it's going to go down into the other local area network, the same one that this Kali machine is attached to. So right now we have, we're not, we don't have any, any outbound traffic. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go to system and routing. I'm not going to go through in depth on routing and gateways because there's a different video on that. But very quickly, we have all our gateways set up. Here's the one that I made myself. Here's static routes. 
it's all it's all configured already. Again, this isn't going to work if you don't have the proper routing between between networks. Okay, we're not going to get to the internet, <laughs> so we gotta we gotta get that first. Ubuntu, you look good. Let's bring in our Kali machine here, and now we are going to be connecting to a different PFSense machine. The one that we're connecting to now is this PFSense here. And in this case, my gateway is 192.168.1.1. That's going to bring me to the GUI of that particular PFSense machine. In the other PFSense, we saw that we went to the outbound traffic of NAT. Good. We're going to do the exact same thing. Also remember that if you've watched the other video, we actually managed the routing in this network as well because we want to make sure that network traffic from my LAN can get over through host only and back into the other network. So we got the, the forward and the backward managed. Let's look at NAT here. Firewall, NAT, and we are going to go to outbound. And so this looks a little bit different, doesn't it? When we look at the configuration right now, it's currently set as automatic. And because I had set up the, the routing and I told it what networks I wanted stuff to come from already, it actually went to the effort and automatically configured our outbound traffic to say, hey, what are the networks that are allowed to leave? So we have referring to itself. Uh, then we have what is in particular really important is our 192.168.2. Remember, that's the network that the Ubuntu machine is attached to. Then we have our 192.168.1.0. That's the network that my Kali machine is attached to. And then we have our 192.168.83. That is the that host only network that's right in between the two PF sensors. I want to bring to attention an aspect of outbound traffic that can be kind of annoying sometimes when you have automatic NAT rules made or they're they're generated by themselves they actually can make some errors and it kind of depends on how you've actually configured your pfSense machines to communicate with each other and can relate to the order of operations so you sometimes you may actually need to go in and manually look at these rules so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to take a peek at these rules that they do work, but let's look at them manually so that we can have a, a better idea of how these things are working. You're going to have these two rules and these two rules here that are going to be created by default. And the nice thing about PFSense is in their description, they actually will tell you what is the relationship that this outbound rule is going to do. So it's auto created for ISA KMP, which if you're curious is an internet security association and key management protocol. It's important, especially for IP security. And you can also see that it's going out on a destination port. We do need to have these for each of the rules. So in my network, I had two LANs, one with a two and one with a one. And then those each need to have a ISA KMP rule associated with it. So don't mess around with these, these top four. They're fine. Leave that as itself. But what we are going to have to look at is actually each of the two rules for the unique networks that we are doing routing for. Let's look at the first one here. So it's a two zero. We have our ISA KMP. And we're going to a WAN address. Let's go ahead and open that one up. And we look at the, the details for this. We have an interface of WAN. Yep. The IP address family, we're taking care of version 4 and version 6 is fine. Protocol, we don't really care what that protocol is because we just want it to leave. This is us letting traffic leave the network. Network that we're dealing with is a 2. Maybe you've got an alias set up. You might want to consider that. But remember, this was automatically created, so you may have to manually set this up. This is the area inside PFSense that you would do that. The destination, we don't care where it's going, but our destination port is going to be here. For translation because we've specified a port here we are actually going to go ahead and toggle the static port to on so we're going to be looking at a specific port 
And then for our purposes with a straightforward outbound, we're not gonna mess around with anything else. So go ahead and save. And if you look at the next rule where we don't have actually a port specified, let's go ahead and open up that one. And it's gonna be essentially exactly the same, except where you're not doing a port range and we're not setting a static port. That's it, that's all that is. Let's go back and we're gonna rinse and repeat for all of the networks that we want to leave to go to the internet. So we have a the one network that was, remember that's where my Kali was set up. And we also have that host only network that traffic from the PFSense one was routing through to get to PFSense two to go on to the network. You may need to go in here and manipulate your outbound rules manually. Obviously try it with automatic first. And if that doesn't work, then you might need to do some testing. But then again, if you've got all your outbound rules set up and these are pretty straightforward if you're still not getting internet access there's there's something else not allowing it to happen it could be a improper internet rule that's allowing traffic out that's that's typically a challenge for uh, a network that if something can't get out it's probably a firewall so go ahead and double check that firewalls have to be configured properly in order to ensure security um, but also if you don't allow intentionally particular networks to leave the network then they're not going to leave <laughs> so you have to you have to be mindful of that quick video showing outbound traffic i hope you enjoyed it there's a couple of videos on the screen go ahead give those a watch or not it's fine i'm happy you're here we'll see you next time bye